Now, it looks like a sort of giant wooden spatula or maybe a Captain Caveman club, but the makers think they're onto a winner. The mongoose cricket bat tears up centuries of tradition with a much longer handle and a much smaller body. Now, this makes it easier to hit the ball and it speeds to the boundary quicker when you do, they claim. But is the use of such technology really cricket? They may look like normal cricketers, but these people are revolutionaries. They're the first professionals to use a new piece of equipment that might just change the game forever. It goes by the name of the mongoose. There's no area on here which doesn't go for six. So in the middle, there's a lot of bounce. There's more bounce than a traditional bat because we've got more wood down there. So that works. That's good. At the top of the bat, you can hit sixes. And our toe is twice, sometimes three times the size of a traditional bat. And again, you couldn't do that on any other bat. Old Father Time, the symbol of Law's Cricket Ground, has overseen a few changes on these hallowed fields. But one thing has remained more or less constant, the shape of the bat. This one is more than a century old and wouldn't look out of place on today's pitches. People have tried to change bats before, of course, in 1979, Australia's Dennis Lilly tried out an aluminium bat, but the umpire soon said no. But the mongoose is aimed at the new 2020 game, which has given birth to popular and very lucrative tournaments like the Indian Premier League, where players sometimes recklessly just try to score as many runs as possible as quickly as possible, with all the razzmatazz of Bollywood as a backdrop. So the traditional bat's defensive qualities are not so important. Some, some guys, you know, look at it and sort of laugh and say, get it away from me. Other guys are, are pretty keen to have a look. And, <clears throat> I mean, the guys, who, the guys who are very keen to have a look are, are the guys that, um, you know, are, are willing to try different things. And, you know, that's, that's, that's part of life. The mongoose has the approval of the guardians of the cricket rule book, the MCC. But will this famously traditional game embrace something new? And with me now is the inventor of the bat, Marcus Codrington Fernandez. Now, if you look at how these two bats, there's the traditional one, this is the new one, compare, there's obviously a lot more bat with which to hit or block the ball. So does that mean for ordinary cricketers, uh, this is actually harder to use? Well, you'd think so. Uh, and that's probably the thought that every cricketer who ever sees this bat would think. But the tests that we've done show that nearly all players hit the ball in the middle of the bat and that's certainly where they aim to hit the ball and when they do hit the ball at the top of it generally it doesn't go where they want it to go yeah so but if you see any schoolboy bat it's covered in sort of you know red marks around here because you've done that and the ball's come bad right up the top firstly yes. bad technique but this is a bat designed for 2020 and the shot that you're describing is a defensive shot and of course in 2020 there is no defense you attack if the ball is up here you welly it it, it, it's a bit like a baseball bat, isn't it? And sort of the, the weight and shapes of things. Twenty twenty is fundamentally a different game from Test match cricket. Test match cricket, however, is moving towards twenty twenty, and the reason is it's entirely about attacking. They're just trying to hit the ball and hit it hard, score runs fast, score runs with pizzazz and razzmatazz. It makes cricket more fun to watch, more fun to play. But what are the actual rules then about what a cricket bat should be like and how does this sort of pass the test if the aluminium bat that Dennis Lilly tried didn't? They're very specific. They, the rules were rewritten last year. Fundamentally what they say is the bat has to be of this length and these proportions. We work closely with the MCC to ensure that everything on our bat works and was in, was, is well, so within their width. laws. It's within its uh, width, but also the, the proportion between the handle and the blade is very particular. So you've got to get that exactly right, and we've done that. But the, the fundamental is that this is a bat that can be made in a garden shed. Cricket bats are simple things. They're made of wood, willow, and they're carved w with a knife. Our bat is the same as any other bat in that respect. And does it have a, a splice in it the same way that, does, that it, has the V there? Very good, it? yeah, exactly. The, the, a conventional bat has a splice on the batting, on the hitting area, on the blade. Our bat is the only bat in the world that doesn't have that. And the advantage of that is this thing is dead. When the ball hits it, it doesn't go anywhere. It dies on you. Because we haven't got one in the hitting area, it means the whole of the hitting area is a sweet spot. It pings off it. And, and are there any famous English batsmen who, who want one of these? Well, I hope there are. Um, uh, there are some famous Australians who... Um, you remember rather better at cricket at the moment than English, who are using it. Uh, Stuart Law, who's averaging 50 over a long career, is uh, a mongoose player, and he's doing great with it. Marcus, thanks very much indeed for bringing it in.